I've said this before, the most important aspect of video is audio. If you are making YouTube videos or videos for any other platforms, if you don't pay attention to your audio, it really doesn't matter how good your video is, you really won't get too far. That's why over the course of the last couple of years, I have switched my audio setup so many times. I'm constantly trying to improve my audio on this channel. Uh, hopefully it's at a level that's somewhat decent, but I know that there is room for improvement. Anyway, today I am reviewing this, which is the Pixel Lark X, which is a wireless all-in-one two microphone plus a receiver combo in a case. And it's a pretty cool product for shooting videos and short films. So today I am checking it out. With this kit, you get a carrying case, a small handful of cables to connect to things such as cameras and cell phones, a charging cable, extension antennas, user manual, cold shoe mount, and the charging case. Now this charging case is like having some AirPods, but bigger, and it comes with two clip-on mics and a receiver inside. The idea of this is simple. You connect the receiver to your camera, and the wireless mics will transmit all of your audio with your video footage. And because there are two of them, you can do interviews. And if you need more mics, let's say you are interviewing four people at once, you can daisy chain these receivers and connect a ton of them together and record into one audio file. The receiver is rated for eight hours on a single charge. Each mic is rated for four hours and the case can recharge everything together for a total of 12 hours of audio recording. When your battery is at zero, you can use a USB-C cable to charge the case again. It's convenient, it's easy, and I have to say the build quality of this kit is great. High quality plastics, nice clips, good tolerances for a budget wireless mic setup, it is well made. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have changed my audio setup numerous times over the course of this YouTube channel. I started recording straight into the camera with no microphone at all, which was horrible. I then used a long lavalier mic with a cable I remember, then I started recording using the Zoom H1, and then most recently I have been recording using this Zoom H4n and uh, using a larger microphone, as you can see right in front of me. Now I've tried boom microphones, I've tried shotgun microphones, I've tried really almost everything there is out there. Maybe one day I'll go out and buy a super expensive microphone to get on a different level. Anyway, the moral of the story and what I've learned over the course of the last couple of years, making videos and switching audio setups, is that if you are recording into your camera, you're really not getting the best audio quality, no matter how good your camera is. A cheap $200 external recorder is going to serve you much better than the preamps built into any of your cameras. So I'd encourage you to invest in that. Anyway, let's get back to the Lark X. The question at the end of the day is how does this sound? So here is a sample of the audio coming straight out of the camera with no microphones. This is onboard audio on a Sony mirrorless camera. You can tell even in a soundproof room, it's not very good sounding. And this is what you get when you connect this microphone. You clip it on your shirt. Overall, the sound quality is good. I wouldn't say it's top notch. I wouldn't say it's the best of the best, but for a small, compact, wireless, especially lavalier microphone, it works very well. And it has a decent range. So if you're out and about outside, you can get away with uh, quite a bit of distance between you and the receiver and without any loss of quality. It does have built-in noise cancellation, which I would not recommend using unless it's absolutely necessary and there's a ton of noise outside because I'll switch it on right now and you'll see that there is quite a difference. It's not sounding too great. Basically, it takes away all of the bass notes and I'd say that this is on the poor end of audio quality. So not ideal, but again, if you're in a situation where you need noise cancellation, you can do it just so that you can still hear your voice in your audio. This little kit has come in handy for me quite a few times. A few months ago, I did a little skit for an anamorphic lens review, and I used these mics to record the entire thing. Commence phase one. Time to secure the package. Not in my house. 
it was much easier to conceal a wireless microphone than it was to use a lavalier mic or some sort of boom arm. And the audio turned out quite nice. The only thing that I noticed is that if you have an actor drive away in a car, for example, the audio would cut out. The stated range of this kit is 60 meters or so, but if you don't have line of sight, I don't think that is accurate. The good thing is that these little antennas do extend the range on these little microphones, and I'm sure that if I had been using those on the shoot, my audio probably would not have cut out, but unfortunately I didn't bring those with me. So for a budget wireless microphone system, I like the LART X quite a bit. Now there are competitors out there that have more advanced features such as recording into each individual microphone, but they do cost quite a bit more than this thing. And the nice thing about this is that it's super compact. You could take it with you. It all fits into this nice little zippered case and you can throw it in with you if you ever need it. It is there and available for you. So for the money, I don't think that you can go wrong with this kit. So if you'd like to check this thing out and read more about it, I'll have some links down in the description below. So please check those out. Special thank you goes out to Pixel for sending this thing out for review. And thank you guys so much for watching, for all of your comments, all of your support on this channel. Stay tuned for more and have a nice day. Bye-bye.